I would like to talk to you about the second coming and the importance of the church. The context of Hebrews chapter 9 and chapter 10 deal with the sacrifices of the Old Testament, which were very limited, very temporary, and the need for a more permanent sacrifice, which is the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ and his shed blood. In the middle of this argument, which takes two chapters, the Holy Spirit injects a prayerful statement concerning the church and concerning the second surrounding this and the connection it has with the second coming of Christ. In Hebrews chapter 10, verses 23 through 26, we read these words, Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise, and let us consider one another to provoke one to love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. In the Bible, we are instructed to remain true and faithful to Christ, his word, his promises, and to do so without compromise. We are to remain faithful because Christ is faithful concerning his promise. And one of those promises is the promises of his second coming. We see a hint of this in the latter portion of the passage we read, where it says, as you see the day approaching. If we want to understand this more fully, we go to John chapter 14, and Jesus is speaking the night before his crucifixion. So the, the, the words are very, very important, obviously. Jesus said this, he says, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you into myself, that where I am, you may be also. So in this theological dissertation, the night before his crucifixion, we have a phrase that clearly connects Jesus with his second coming. And Jesus clearly spoke about the signs of his coming. If we see the signs, then what? Well, according to this passage, we are to gather together to encourage each other, to escort each other, to worship together, and, and to do it more, not less. For the passage says, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the matter of some is, but escorting one another so much more, as you see the day approaching. In light of this passage, it forces us to ask a couple questions. If we believe, do you believe that the signs of Jesus are pointing, of, of, of the second coming are pointing to a soon return? If you do, then why have churches stop having uh, meetings on Sunday evenings and on midweek services? And equally important, if you are fortunate enough to attend a church that has Sunday evening services and Wednesday midweek services, why won't you support those services? Shouldn't the possibility of hearing from God as the pastor brings a message that he's received from God in your behalf be more important than anything you could find to stay at home for? To hear more and see more, uh, look at our webpage, www.suncoastbaptistchurch.com. That's one word, www.suncoastbaptistchurch.com. Thank you.